district assembly elections are taking place currently. And so let's cross over to Kojo Krum, where Eric Yao Eje, our Western Regional Correspondent, is on standby. Hello, Eric. And it is getting to nine o'clock and voting just started. This is because the electoral materials arrived very late. For that centre, you see the voting has actually not started because the electoral officials are actually now preparing to set up. So even though a queue has been formed, voting has not started. The same can be said at the other center you see at the far end. The electoral officers are now setting up the place. The queue has once again been formed, but voting has not started. However, this particular polling center I can see some activities and I can report that the first voter has cast her ballot. When we came here, the situation was quite agitated because according to some of the people you see in your shot, they got here at 5 o'clock and they were eager to cast their votes so that they will be able to go to their workplace on time but as it is they are not too sure whether they will be able to vote early so that they can go to work and this is causing some form of agitation here earlier this particular man told me that he has some reservations and wonder whether um, election 2020 will be the same i'm uh, for uh, you now we say 2020 year war big election or your president and the vice and then ministers in the young person uh do a way to know 2020 over so we didn't want to do a year may want to do a year may young as uncle's 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 because i'll be the man i read a gun and you find your time in your man yeah i can remember how five o'clock since i can make a year May we dream the ma wabba nine? Mum vote m card mum voting bo. Musum pere mu vote because me a gun any until you see one to two may. May that say so that is same for you and we have one of the aspirants and he got here, he tells me that he got here very early. Um you must be disappointed. I am I am really disappointed. We are about ten minute drive away from the distribution centre and we are almost two hours late. That is very, very disappointing. Um, we are Ghanaians, close to 27 years in this process. We least expected that this will happen. And it definitely is going to have some, some, some uh, 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 setbacks, you know, some negative effect on the whole thing because people, especially the government workers, would have loved to vote before they go to work. But unfortunately, they all came to join the queue and they had to leave for work. We only praying to God that it will come back to, to vote. Do you foresee any challenge with regards to voter turnout? I, I anticipate that. And I believe this is one of the reasons why um, this is assembly elections have received low voter turnout. Because I, I am beginning to think that we as Ghanaians do not respect the this assembly concept. The, the, the this assembly elections we, we do not respect. Uh, the process because I mean I have not seen this happening to presidential and parliamentary you know uh, now like I said 10 minutes away drive from the distribution center and we are in this mess what what happens to those in the hinterlands what happens to those in the hinterlands so it's, it's bad it's, it's so sad thank you very much so that is seem one of the aspirants there. And as you can see, tempests are flaring up. We've been to a couple of centers and the situation is the same. When we got to Keten, electoral materials had not started. When we got to Ahinkofi, election had also not, voting had also not started. But some of the voters you see are hopeful that they will be able to vote on time so they will go back and attend to other chores. Eric here with JTV3 News. It's Kadokatan constituency. All right, thank you so much, Eric, our Western Regional Correspondent, giving us some updates at Kojo Chrome.